ITC are very well known for their solid carbide solutions. I'm joined by Matt White today from the company and they're going to be telling me about two new innovations. One that's made in Tamworth and one comes from a partner. Matt, welcome. Hi, Tell Joe. us about the new tools. Okay, so a couple of new innovations. Um, obviously, during the last year, everyone's still been carrying on in the background. We've got some good team people down at ITC and obviously at Whittier as well. And these are the unseen heroes of uh, most of the carbide companies who are there to bring new products through, try different things. Um, they're probably not seen so much. They're not the handsome, charismatic uh, people like yourself who, <laughs> who have to go out in front of the customers all the time. But they've got a very important role to play. So we have two new products to show today. One is from our partners at Whittier. This is uh, Very Mill Extreme. And the second will be our, our own ITC product where we're now looking at uh, making the steel stainless type cutters, but with the chip breakers in the side. And we'll go on and talk about that later on. Sure, if we start with the Whittier product, obviously you've got many uh, end mills equally, Whittier do as well. Where does this fit in the, in the portfolio and what makes it different, if anything? Yeah, I think from day one, when ITC started to push the Hanita brand as it was back in the day, they were always keen to make something slightly different. So the portfolio was never clashing, it was always growing bigger and bigger. So it's covering more and more bases. So where Whittier may have a square corner, we have made something similar, but with the full radius uh, range available, it might be something with more necking, more length of flute. So it's always trying not to clash against what they do, but also to, to make the range more, uh, a bigger portfolio for everyone to have a choice of what they need, so. Sure, so if you look at this new Vamil Extreme, where does it sit? Is it, is it a general purpose tool? Is it for, is it for heat resistant materials? So the, the very mill range has been around for a long time. Um, high, high performance, high quality tooling, uh, four flute, five flute, lots of different variations of it. This one, now when, the, when the innovations come through and we, and we come and talk to you about them, the German guys get excited, but they are very, very excited about this one. I've not seen them as excited about this for a long time. So it's going to be a high performance high metal removal rate, we'll have a go at any materials and do a good job for you. And in terms of applications, we're talking ramping, plunging? Ramping, I mean, we need to get out and try this because looking at what they're telling us it can do, we're, we're talking some 45 degree ramps, we're talking plunging, we're talking interpolating, one and a half times D slotting. You know, it looks like a beast. They're very excited that it's going to be a beast. I'd like to get this out there and try it as soon as we can. And um, what, what are we talking about in terms of the actual substrate and, and the coating? So the, what they've done with it is they've made it, just to have a look at the setup of the cutter itself first. So it's a four flute, unequal helix, unequal flute cutter. They've took some real care in strengthening the core, the parabolic core of the, of the cutter, because that's obviously a weak point usually. If you've got four mm -hmm. flutes, yeah. you have a very weak spot through. So, They've also done a lot of work on the end face of the cutter. So that's gonna give it more strength as well. So with the carbide and the coating combination will be fantastic for your steels, for your stainlesses, and for your exotics. Mm -hmm. And if, if we move on to the, uh, the, the uh, Tamworth product, call it. The... Yes, so obviously we've got a big facility down at Tamworth. Um, last year when the new catalog came out, we put some chip breaker uh, range into our aluminium cutters and they seem to be working really, really well. We got a three flute and a four flute, and both perform equally okay. The actual feedback is probably that the three flute would be the one to go with, but on Ali, you tend to have less flutes, sure. don't you? You, mm -hmm. you need to get the swarf away. What we're now looking at doing, and what's working well in some trials, is having a steel stainless type cutter with the chip breakers in. So what we're looking at there application-wise is uh, trochoidal is very popular still. Mm -hmm. It seems to be getting more and more popular. And as the CAD CAM software uh, is getting more and more uh, user-friendly, more people to turn into to trochoidal. The problem with trochoidal is, is like a simple uh, problem that is actually the worst problem, is the swarf control. Because mm -hmm. if you look at this cutter, if you imagine how long the flute is, mm -hmm. trochoidal is great because you're, you're controlling your chip thickness. Mm -hmm. Usually uh, the problem with tall fouls is the chip thickness is, is varying and you suddenly have a real heavy load and a real light load. Sure, so, but, certainly if you're talking stainless steel or worse, when, when you get into that corner, if you can't, if you can't wrap around that corner, you'll get in. You, know, you get a lot of tall failures, yeah. don't you, at that point. It's just unfortunately the way it is. But with Tricordo, you control the chip thickness and the biggest problem is you get a needle-shaped uh, chip and at the, uh, over time that starts to mess up your, your, your swarf control, really. Mm -hmm. Your conveyor gets bonged up, your swarf uh, bin gets bunged up. So 
if you put chip breakers in the side of the tool and control that swarf, so it's still going to be the same needle shape, but it's going to be smaller little needles of it, it becomes easier to control the sure. swarf. And, and how have you calculated that? Obviously not, not chip thickness, we know how to do that, but actually where you put those chip, chip breakers, if, if you just thought typically with like, I don't know, the flute divided by a certain number to, you know, to get like a percentage chip, chip reduction? I think where they've found in the trials it works best is, is a sort of a staggered approach. So you never have the chip on the, set, the mm -hmm. same part of the flute. And I think that, I don't think this is equal all the way down the flute because there's only so, you don't want to use the whole of the flute. You, yeah. you, you have a safe, yeah. like with drilling, like with milling. So I think that's the way they've come to it. But whatever they've, they've come up with on this, um, I think it's a 12 mil there, it seems to work really well. Sure, and these products available today? The, this one's available today. This one is available, although it's going through trials at the minute, it will be going into the main catalog shortly. But if anyone would like to try it, we can certainly get some samples out, send our guys in to, to run them. And for people that don't work with ITC currently, you know, what, what's the model? How do they get in touch? How do they buy your product? How do they get trials? So we have 10 or 11 sales guys out on the road. So there will be a local rep, uh, a very good website. So if you go onto the website, you're on there for about two or three seconds and Georgia will pop up on the screen, get in touch. So there's always a way that you can send an email or you can ring through to the office and then we'll put you in touch with the right person. Simple as that. Thanks, Matt. And Thanks, thank you for watching at home.